What up, YouTube? All to the double E dash Z O N once again from beginning to the end like nobody else can. Yo, I'm bringing you a brand new series of videos, y'all. I must have been divinely inspired on the way home, and it has been a long time since the reason has been inspired to bring you something new as far as a new topic, a new idea, a new way of doing things. And I, I just, I was just thinking, man. I have, and this is not in any way to brag, man. I'm very fortunate, very blessed. But I have so many games. I mean. I have a gaming cabinet there with thousands of games across all consoles. But let's be real. We all know, even though I play all consoles and I appreciate and respect every console, even, even Microsoft to some degree, Nintendo is my thing. Nintendo is my brand. I have said this time and time again. We'll continue to say it until I drop dead or until they get so bad that I really can't affiliate with them. But that hasn't happened. I still consider them top dogs in the industry. I have so many games and so much Nintendo history in that gaming cabinet. And I said, damn, there's got to be a way to be able to share it in a new and exciting way with my subscribers and people who watch my videos and fellow Nintendo gamers and gamers alike. And I said, why not start doing collection videos? And not collections like my Wii U collection or my, Nintendo, my 64 collection. No, 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 we've done that. No, why not just randomly pick out characters and franchises and show you what I have as far as a collection of that character or franchise from the very beginning of its creation to the current day. And there's no other collection that is bigger, maybe not quantity size, but impact and legacy wise, there is no other collection. There's no other character or franchise iconic enough to be number one in my first video and doing this collection thing than it's a me, a Mario. That's the man, dog. That's that's the icon of the gaming industry. And so y'all gonna see my Super Mario collection from the NES all the way to current day Wii U right now. Keep in mind we are talking strictly Mario action adventure platforming games. We're not doing the Smash Brothers. We're not doing the Mario Karts. That, that's a different topic. That's a different franchise altogether. We are talking 2D and 3D action adventure platforming Mario games from the NES till this current day is what you're going to be seeing in this video. And still, the collection is big. Had I done everything else, man, I'd be drowning in games right now. So let's just get right to it because i got a nice stack of games to go through, man. We are going to start with the one, the original, the savior of the gaming industry. The reason that you and I can game today, the reason that gaming didn't pass away as a fad or something that was just for the time, but became a multi-billion dollar industry or million dollar industry, whatever it is, it's big time dog. The Savior, the original, Super Mario Brothers on the original NES, with Duck Hunt and the Blaster included, which I do own. This is this is it right here, man. This is what this is what we all this is what saved us all. This is what brought us into the fold. This was this is what brought us to the dance. The day that we all played this, and I speak for everybody, unless you are, you know, let, you know, unless you're under 20 years old or something like that, and you know you were born in the late 90s, early 2000s, around there, then maybe you went back and played this, and maybe you can appreciate it. But for the most part, all us OGs, all us that have been around gaming for, since the get-go, all right, us, this is what brought us to the dance, and this is what saved the gaming industry, as I said before, and made sure that you young gamers today have systems to play and have games to play and have an industry and and, and, a, and a gaming community to vibe with. Because this saved it all. Super Mario Bros. Original old school 2D action adventure platformer. For the, One of the first games ever to add a story to the game. It wasn't just little blips on the screen jumping up and down. There was a story. There was incredible control with the, Nintendo, with the NES gamepad. Uh, there was great sound. Everything. A multitude of colors. Much more than the Atari could handle. And even some arcades of that day. This just had it all, man. This was just genius. This was one of the original masterpieces from Shigeru Miyamoto, the gaming god. All right? This is this is it, man. This is the pinnacle. And this is what started it all. And it, you know, it, it spawned the most catchy theme song of all video game lore. We all know. Yeah, you know what, you know what's up, man. It's, it's, it's off the chain, man. Next the, one of the best-selling games of all time, Super Mario Brothers 3, and hailed by many as the best Mario game ever, or certainly the best 2D Mario game ever. This was a, you know, there was a Mario Brothers 2. I don't have it physically. I have it on the Wii, on the Wii U Virtual Console and on the Wii Virtual Console, which was also, it was also a great game. But 
This is the next physical game I have, Super Mario Bros. 3. Man, this one just upped the ante. This one gave you a world map view for the first time ever when selecting levels. It introduced the Tanuki suit, which is just a mainstay that made its comeback now all these years later in Super Mario 3D World. I mean, the sound, the music, the controls, the graphics, the just overall scale of this game. And this game dwarfs the original Super Mario Bros. I mean, this is just, this is, this is gaming bliss right here, as I've said so many times. And this is one of those games that stays right here. It stays right here throughout life. Super Mario Bros. 3D. And it just had a release on the Wii U Virtual Console earlier this week, so go and check that out if you haven't, if you don't own it. For what is it, four or five bucks? Go check that out, man. It's amazing. Next, we make the jump to the Super Nintendo. And this was the game that came packed in with the Super Nintendo. Excuse me, I just got, I got it. This game came packed in with the Super Nintendo. It's a bad mother, you know what? It is the illest 2D, in my opinion, the illest 2D Mario game ever. I put it above Super Mario Bros. 3. Super Mario World on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Packed in with the new console, 16 bits of technology as opposed to 8. Much more color, better sound, way better graphics, bigger game, over, big, uh, a big... Um, uh, what's the word? Map view. Uh, like you had in Super Mario Bros. 3, much bigger now. More levels, secret paths, alternate paths in the middle of levels, the introduction of Yoshi, everybody's favorite sidekick. Yo, this was it. This was off the chain. And you had new power-ups, as every Mario game does. You had the cape. So now you could actually take flight like Superman, except you were Super Mario. You know what I'm saying? This is off the chain. This is the, probably the best game in the 16-bit era. Genesis and Super Nintendo. And any other console that wanted to come along, Turbo Graphics 16, this was it, man. This was the 16-bit era right here. Awesome game, man. So many great memories, man. My, my mom brought that Super Nintendo home. Ooh, when I started playing that, man, I almost went into a coma. Didn't come out that room. Next, Mario's. Oh, sorry about that. Caught it. Mario's Time Machine. Now, this is the only Mario game that I will say sucked, and it sucked because it wasn't uh, an action platformer per se. It was an educational game. It was they tra Nintendo was trying to, you know, go against the grain of, you know, media starting to say that game video games were dangerous for kids and they were making kids act violent and this and that. And so Nintendo, as they so often do, tried to prove the world wrong and, you know, tried to make an educational video game. There's a lot of trivia and history questions in here. It's very boring. I, I played it for about three minutes before I turned it off and, you know, never looked at it again. But it is a Mario game. And it's probably extremely rare now since nobody liked it. And it's in my collection, so Mario's Time Machine. Really, I really didn't like that game. Next, we jump to the mighty, the blessed, the unbelievably ahead of its time, and still to this day greatest console of all time, Nintendo 64. Get in or get out. And on that console, we have one Mario game to talk about. Because, see, Mario back then wasn't as saturated as it is today. And that is... A big contender in my book and many people's books for greatest video game ever created Super Mario 64 you won't even need to see my face I'm saying I'll just hide behind the cartridge because I am not worthy this is in my book I'll say it probably is the greatest game of all time it is definitely the best Mario of all time and it has Mario taking the jump into a three-dimensional open world for the first time ever and where so many games tried that transition and failed miserably, this one not only succeeded, it flourished. And the game was changed forever. Not just the Mario game, the video game game. The, the gaming landscape was changed forever when this was released on the Nintendo 64 and people controlled Mario in full 360 degrees, able to manipulate the camera any which way they wanted for the first time ever in a video game. And Mario had an arsenal of moves from the long jump to the side flip to the back flip to the wall kick to the, uh, the spin kick. To the punching combo, Mario had a voice for the first time ever. Man, this was it, man. And then just the just the whole way the game was laid out, and the and the princess's castle jumping into the pictures, and that takes you to another huge world that you didn't know was behind that picture. Collecting the 120 stars, meeting Yoshi on the roof of the castle. Man, Mario 64 was just awesome. The power ups, the power caps, the the metal Mario, the the, the wings that, that that made you fly. I mean, the game was just it is the greatest of all time, man. Next, we jump into the GameCube. Super Mario Sunshine received a lot of flack for not being, quote unquote, as great as Mario 64. And it wasn't because nothing ever is, as I've said in my other videos. But this is a hell of a Mario game. And it is by far the most challenging Mario game you will ever play. It requires a lot of skill, it requires a lot of dedication, a lot of patience. 
has beautiful graphics, an incredible world to explore outside of the Mushroom Kingdom about time, uh, a lot of new gameplay mechanics, and it's it, the levels dwarf Mario 64 in size. This was a great game that didn't receive the props it, it, it should have received. So a lot of Mario fans know when they play this that it is a sleeper in the Mario collection, but it is awesome. Next, we jump to the Nintendo Wii, my second favorite console of all time. This game in the Blockbuster case, or the GameStop case, I should say, that you see here, is none other than New Super Mario Bros. Wii. This was Mario taking a return to the classic 2D side-scrolling action, much like Super Mario World on the Super Nintendo, and it, it actually fed, it actually filled that void that we had since the, the release of the Super Nintendo game, and that it mirrored the game excellently, but with much better graphics, better level design. It, it, it is amazing. The only reason I give Super Mario World the nod is because it came out first, and it has the memories, but Super Mario, New Super Mario Bros. Wii had great game design, four-player co-op, which was just madness. Uh, as I said before, incredible level design, incredible music, spot on controls, played with the Wii Mouse turned sideways like a classic uh, Wii, uh, like classic NES controller or Super NES controller. Great, great game right here. And it's sold in the millions, man. Staying in the Wii, we go to Super Paper Mario. Now, this is different. This is a side scrolling platformer, but it has a lot of heavy RPG elements as well. The Paper Mario series is known for that. It's also known for a paper book look as far as the graphics go. But this one had a gimmick. I don't want to call it a gimmick. It had a gameplay mechanic that completely flipped this game on its head, literally. And it's you're playing in side-scrolling 2D fashion, you know, very flat, very paper-like. You press the A button on that controller, and the dimensions turn. And you can see, even though it's paper graphics, you can see it in 3D and see paths and objects and surprises you didn't even know were right under your nose. What a great game. The sense of humor and writing in this game is amazing. And you play as a four-man team of Mario, Luigi, Peach, and Bowser. Not to be missed. One of the better Mario games. Next. I'm trying to go fast because we're running out of time here. I'm going to show these two together because they're just epic like that. Get this uh, situated right here. Mario Galaxy 1 and 2 on the Wii. The two greatest 3D action adventure platformers ever. Ever, ever, ever amazing Mario Galaxy is the spiritual successor and sequel to Mario 64 and does it some justice and Mario Galaxy 2 improves on every way possible even bringing Yoshi into the mix 3D action adventure incredible level design spot on controls with the Wiimote and Nunchuck amazing graphics especially for the Wii epic soundtrack just a very very intense immersive action adventure experience in the 3D platforming genre not to be missed Mario Galaxy 1 and 2 Next, we jump into the Wii U. New Super Mario Bros. U. Basically, uh, the sequel to New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Same kind of gameplay, just now in 1080p for the first time ever. Mario's never looked better. Amazing level design, your typical 2D side-scrolling masterpiece. Again, with the four-player co-op, which is just, it's just madness. It's, it's just intense when you play this with friends. Awesome, man. And last but not least, the, le the latest Mario game to release, released in November of last year. Super Mario 3D World for the Wii U. This is the first 3D action adventure platformer on the Wii U starring Mario. We all know and hope that Mario Galaxy 3 is coming to blow everything out of the water. But Mario 3D World was such an epic game. This came out amazing visuals that we didn't think it was going to have. Incredible use of a control as far as gamepad, Wiimote Nunchuck, Wiimote, Controller Pro, all that. Great cast of characters. You can play four-player co-op for the first time ever in a three-dimensional Mario platforming game, which is just bananas me and my wife and my two sons play this and we just have a ball man and it, and it just works flawlessly great music great level design a lot of nintendo easter eggs link believe it or not makes an appearance in this game i mean it's just epic man this is a must-have for wii u owners and for mario fans and just gamers in general who love the old school action adventure platforming but with a 3d modern twist and just this is this 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 to me was game of the year last year. This destroys Grand Theft Auto V. It just it just does. There's no there's no any way around it. So that's it. That's my collection, man. Last but not least, I have one small piece of my collection that's not an actual game per se. Got this when I pre-bought Mario Galaxy for the Wii. Let's do this right quick before I run out of time. And it is the commemorative certificate of authenticity and everything. Mario Silver Coin. You see it right there with the little Luma right there. There's the story of the game and my certificate of authenticity, which I don't want to really show you that much. But anyways, that's it, man. That's my Mario collection from the days of the...